Welcome back. This is Lee Masker. Today I'm going to talk about another job role and responsibility of a prison officer. Uh, the job is, the role or the responsibility is the co-ord. Now, what does the co-ord do? They coordinate all the movements on the wing. So, for example, let's, let's go for it. As a landing officer, you've unlocked all your lads, some are education, some are at work. Some might have gone to healthcare, some might have gone to visits. The job of the co-ord is to monitor where all these prisoners are and basically keep a tally of how many prisoners are at all these different locations. Generally, it's a kind of, not being sexist saying this, but a lot of female officers tend to do the job of co-ord. It's very admin based and paperwork based. Oh, I really enjoyed it when I was co-ord. I think it's a great way to get to know how the wing works, how the jail works, how the wings work. I think it's great for speaking with different officers and getting your name around in the jail because sometimes you might re you might have a really difficult prisoner and he's been on the wing for a few months and he causes so many problems and you just you're ready for him to move on to a different wing to give to give the staff a break. Now it's the co-ord's responsibility to try and negotiate a deal with another wing. You could be on A wing or Alpha wing, and you could be speaking to Bravo wing, and you could say, "Look, I've got this prisoner. We've had him for X amount of time. Can you do us a favour? Can you take us off? Can you take him off our hands? And you give us somebody that you want to get rid of. And you do like little deals like that. And like I said, it's a great way to kind of get to know other officers, and for other officers to get to know you. You'll also be dealing with a lot of other departments it's a great way to get to know what other departments do you could be you might need to know what time the prisoners at healthcare so you start speaking to the healthcare department you might have i don't know uh, you might have to speak to the education department regarding something so it's quite a good job for kind of networking basically and there is quite a bit of responsibility because when you might have a wing that say you got, um, I don't know, 150, 160 prisoners on that wing, it's the cold responsibility to know where all of them lads are at any one time. So it is quite a, quite a good job. Another aspect of it is, say if there's an incident and a prisoner has assaulted a prison officer, there's a lot of paperwork involved. There's an observations book you have to document that incident in. There's a healthcare form that you have to fill out. There's, you probably place that prisoner, well, if it's an assault on a prison officer, you would definitely place that prisoner on report where they sit in front of a governor and the governor would determine the punishment for that prisoner. And you're quite well in there with all that kind of admin paperwork and I think it's a really good position to kind of be in. And then at the end of the day, or say at dinner time, or the end of the day, when the landing officers have counted up the landings and they know how many prisoners are on each landing, they will cross check with the, the board in the office. And then the co ward will cross check that number with the computer system to make sure it all marries up. And it's down to the co ward to make sure. Well, the code and the landing office to make sure all of that all tallies up and it's the correct amount of prisoners it should be. Is there anything else a code does off the top of my head? Uh, oh yeah, there is actually. So another one would be when prisoners come into the jail, they go to a first night centre, which is just like a normal wing. We spend the first few nights there and you have an induction and you get to know the jail, you get to know how the jail works from a prisoner's point of view. That that wing might ring your wing up and say, look, you've got, you're having three new lads today. Uh, we'll drop them off at this time. So as the co-ward, you're responsible then for putting all the prisoner's information on the board in the office, like the name, the prison number, the age, what ethnicity they are, what sex they are, um, general stuff like that. And then it's your responsibility to find them a cell and to make sure that in that cell they've got everything they need like a TV, a kettle, a mattress, bedding, a privacy curtain for the, you know, for when they go on the toilet, that, you know, that kind of thing. And then you obviously work with the, the cleaning officer to make sure 
then things are all, all facilitated. So I think when you work on your wing and you start getting your, you know, you're getting stuck in as a landing officer, you want to, excuse me, you want to try and start getting your toes wet as a cohort, just, just ask the question, you know, I really think, you know, the cohort sues me, can I have a go at it, just to learn how everything works. You pretty much get a chance at it and then that's, that's your time to shine. So that's all about being a cohort. The next, I think logically the next step, if you're working on a wing, would be the cleaning officer. So that's it. So next week, it will all be about the cleaning officer. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. This is Liam Roska. ta -da.